Hey crafters, it's Sarah here with Craft Test Dummies. And if you guys remember, a couple weeks ago I posted a review on Buckle Boutique Bling Sheets. And in my review, I had a few problems with cutting detailed images using our Cricut electronic die cutting machine. You can see here um, were kind of some of the first attempts that I had. Now, after the review was published, Buckle Boutique's um, design team coordinator, Sean Mosh, got back to me and she said she wanted me to try using um, the Cricut with a couple different settings with the Buckle Boutique bling sheet. So that's what I'm here to show you guys today. I was pretty successful using Sean's tips. So real quick, I just want to show you guys. Let me move this to the side. I have my mat prep. My Buckle Boutique Bling is face down on my mat. I used a brayer to get it really, really sticky. And then you can see I also used some painter's tape to mask around the sides just so that it has more of a stable hold and it's not likely to uh, wiggle around on your mat as much. And then also today I'm going to be using the Cricut Mini with my deep cut blade. And I'm going to zip you guys on over to my computer and show you the settings I use in Cricut craft room to cut the buckle boutique bling sheets so now we're back at the computer and here I've chosen a crown image from the storybook cartridge for Cricut once you have your desired image uh, ready to go you can go ahead and hit cut and it'll detect your cartridge really quick and then once it brings up the main uh, menu for options here the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit custom and then you're going to get your settings ready and you're going to want your, to set your blade depth to six. Remember, it's the deep cut blade. Your pressure is going to be on the lowest setting and your speed is also going to be on the lowest setting. And then you are going to want to choose cut four times. You could totally go more or less depending on the detail of your image and then you're ready to cut. All right, so now that we have all of our settings, we are ready to cut out our image from the Buckle Boutique rhinestone sticker sheets. So once it gets started, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the video a little bit or just speed it up so you guys don't have to sit here for 15 minutes and watch it while it cuts out. But I will see you guys here at the end when it's done cutting. So here we go. So now our crown image has finished cutting and we will go ahead and take it out and see how it looks. So I'm going to hit eject and I just kind of pull it all off here and you can see, let me make sure I'm on the camera here, that your image has now cut out. Now it is a little bit harder to pull away from the sides um, or from the more detailed areas, but as soon as I flip this around, you'll see that it did get a really nice clean cut. Right. Awesome. So there is our final crown with the new settings that um, we've been given. And if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer them. That is about it for us cutting Buckle Boutique rhinestone sticker sheets on your Cricut electronic cutter. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And I really hope that this opened the door for possibilities for you guys to use the Buckle Boutique rind sheets. Have a crafty day, guys. I'll talk to you later.